Yeah, good morning, all of you. So here we are starting again uh, our uh, program on Saturday. That is uh, alumni talk, alumnus uh, meet, and uh, today we have uh, uh, Ajay Sharma. He is a uh, alumnus of this department and has uh, completed his masters in 1997 from 1995 to 1997 he belongs to uh, the west bengal and he was born in 1997 and uh, he has joined faculty of fine arts for his uh, painting studies bachelors in uh, 1991 and then after in 95 he has joined the printmaking department. Uh, he is a recipient of National Scholarship and Lalit uh, Scholarship in 96, uh, 1996 and 2000 respectively. He has also received the Vadodara City Award in nine, uh, 2017. He has exhibited widely in uh, uh, many galleries including in India as well as in London and uh, other countries and uh, his works are based on mostly uh, the current events, the socio-political issues uh, and environmental concerns that he receives from the society and all right. So also he paints uh, and exhibits his works and uh, today he is going to show focus mostly on his drawings and prints which he has done during his study time here in faculty of fine arts and the title what he has kept is memory lane uh, revisiting the college days so here he is going to show uh, some of his drawings and prints and uh, at present, he is uh, teaching at Parul University, Parul Institute of uh, Fine Arts, since uh, I think four, three, four years, four years, Ajay? Uh, no, uh, three years. Three years. Three years right? is going to complete. Yeah, also uh, we have in our department some of his students at present, they are uh, doing masters in uh, our department. So I welcome on behalf of uh, all of the staff and students and uh, I request you to uh, uh, to start your talk. We will present from our side. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, Sunil, uh, Debraj uh, and uh, others for inviting me uh, for this uh, online talk. And uh, before I begin, uh, uh, my condolences uh, for the sudden demise of uh, our respected Rini Dumal ma'am, who had been uh, teaching us uh, since my first year. I remember she was, when I was, uh, you know, like, uh, I had joined painting, but we had this um, classes, uh, optional classes. She was the first teacher who uh, started teaching us uh, woodcut uh, and uh, other mediums. So I just express my con heartfelt condolences on the sudden demise and may her soul rest in peace. With this, uh, I just want to begin. Um, if you can um, start the presentation, it would be easier for me to yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, speak. Is it visible? Am I audible properly? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Is it visible, right? Yes, it is visible. Yes, yes. yes. So um, I just uh, want to, um, you know, like give a brief introduction kind of a thing that, you know, like um, when I was uh, in West Bengal, um, I was, you know, like uh, learning, uh, I was going to art classes mm, from uh, my childhood and uh, uh, 
do, uh, the you know like um, people who were you know like uh, teaching me uh, art over there who were kind of you know like uh, grooming me honing my uh, helping me to hone my skills etc they had uh, studied uh, at the government college of arts and craft and also the indian college of craftsmanship so um, in my um, when when i was in my 10th standard and all i was seriously thinking of taking art uh, uh, as a career so um, my um, teachers uh, were um, the name of one teacher is subhimalendu bikas sina who studied at the government college of art and craft and he was also teaching there for many years he was my first teacher when i was very young i i i i think it was it must be in the uh, 79 or 80s i was very young and i didn't didn't know know many things but he was my first teacher uh, uh, who was teaching me art and later uh, another local um, artist mr tarun kanti das who had studied at the indian college of arts and draftsmanship he was you know like uh, preparing me for uh, admission tests in various art colleges so with his guidance and all uh, uh, later i um, joined um, ms university baroda and uh, my notions were you know like uh, i was very much interested in the bengal school of um you know, this thing um, watercolors and uh, especially i was fascinated by the uh, works of bikash bhattacharya and all these uh, artists uh, and i was not very much introduced into the um, you know like european masters i of course i knew the names of michael angelo and leonardo da vinci and all these things but i was not really introduced to a larger section of the uh, you know like european masters and uh, when i came to baroda uh, it was a kind of a different kind of a world and uh, my teachers who were uh, teaching me at that time they had also you know like uh, finished their um, studies from uh, ms university baroda and later they had freshly joined the um, college uh, as uh, teachers they were appointed as teachers when i was in my first year there was uh, this uh, vasu sir uh, was there then um, uh, bagori sir then later bb suresh sir joined then uh, much later when i was in my masters indra pramit uh, sir joined then natraj sharma shashi dharan so all so all these people you know like uh, uh, they were almost uh, fresh as teachers when we were students in the first year and with their guidance and uh, with uh, their you know like uh, whatever they said and all um, my notions uh, changed and uh, i you know like got exposed to a lot of different kind of art Uh, which I didn't know uh, about uh, before I joined Faculty of Fine Arts, Baroda. We can, yeah, okay, yeah. So, um, you know, like uh, uh, I think this is my this work was done in 1993 or something like that, and uh, this was my um, second year exam work. so uh these are my formative years and before um, joining um, faculty of fine arts baroda i had never done uh, a life study as life studies as such you know like uh, drawing or painting from life so uh, all that i was doing was you know like copying from uh, books and magazines and uh, you know like uh, some tutorial uh, tutorial books etc and whatever my teachers uh, used to teach me so uh, these were the first experiences of uh, drawing from life uh, and uh, i was trying to uh, you know like get the proportion and uh, proportion properly and you know like uh, trying to hone my skills and uh, this is this is done in um, charcoal and uh, i think uh, also there is some uh, graphite in it Okay. So mostly, most of these uh, these these works were uh, done uh, uh, between ninety two and you know like nine ninety three ninety four, 
uh, when uh, during our life our life our life study classes i remember very much uh, um, uh, the late uh, ranjit singh gaikwad he used to continuously sit in our class and he used to also um, draw and uh, paint the uh, models uh, in front of us and he had a you know that typical academic skill uh, which we were very fascinated with and he used he also apart from our teachers our regular teachers uh, jyoti bhat sir was there uh, for a year and then i was in the second year he retired and uh, later you know like uh, vasu sir then uh, shashidharan sir then uh, later bb suresh sir and natraj sharma all uh, all these teachers you know like uh, they were also you know, like uh, teaching us how to get uh, things uh, right in our life studies and but also you know like we had learned a lot from ranjit singh gaikwad he was also a informal teacher for us because um, he used to constantly sit with us and he used to uh, draw and paint these models and i remember he used to you know like do those typical kind of academic uh, uh, hatchings um draw these uh, human figures with uh, uh, clock will nib and and in pen and ink uh, and with pencil and he had this typical way of you know like uh, doing uh, the life studies in a very academic style and that was very fascinating for us so uh, these were my formative years when i uh, even though even though i had some you know like uh, kind of training in uh, uh, the uh, way uh, a figure can be done in an academic style but i think you know like uh, i had to unlearn certain things um, when i joined baroda and i was reinventing something that was you know like a uh, um, completely uh, an unknown area for me where you know like this mark making using multiple lines and you know like uh, um, both with some certain kind of playfulness uh, that i was not doing earlier and uh, you know like uh, um, having some kind of freedom in my works uh, which i learned from uh, which was encouraged by my teachers that you know that like, don't be rigid don't be too rigid you have to experiment you have to uh, be playful while you are uh, working it is not that uh, every time you have to look at a human figure uh, uh, through uh, the eyes of an academician you know like the academic things are always there but you know like you try something different so um, when i uh, you know like look back at this uh, mm, uh, human studies and uh, figure studies i uh, find that uh, perhaps i was trying to be more playful rather than being more rigid and more academic and uh, you know like trying to shed my academic approach so uh, most most of these uh, mm, uh, works are done Uh, with uh, watercolor, poster color, and uh, um, charcoal, uh, graphite, etc. Can we go to that? Uh, uh, can we go to the other slide? Yes. So here also, you know, like uh, I was not really very much interested to, you know, like replicate the human figure in a very academic way. So I was, you know, like constantly. Perhaps I was constantly thinking of. the mass and volume and you know like uh, certain uh, mark making and some kind of playfulness in which i can get a kind of um overall feeling of it rather than you know, like going into the details of uh, the body parts etc etc you are no longer present and uh, um also you know like uh, um i i remember 
I uh, my sen uh, I had also learned from my seniors and uh, on holidays, especially on uh, some public holidays and Sundays when uh, the um, college was uh, formally closed, we used to call these uh, models and we used to do we used to contribute some money and we used to you know like pay them and we used to do uh, life life studies even on Sundays and on some public holidays. So these were the learning experiences and also um, my seniors were guiding me apart from my teachers. And this 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 particular um, um, drawing, can we go to the next slide, the other slide? Can we go to the other slide? Yes, sir. No, 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 no. Back, back, back. Yes, 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 yes. The reclining figure, the reclining figure. Yes, yes. So, you know, like uh, we, we used to be. We uh, used to like uh, use use papers um, which were uh, very cheap at uh, cheap you know like cheap cartridge paper cheap handmade paper I think they used to come in four or five rupees at at that time and uh, sometimes you know like we used to coat uh, those uh, um, I mean drawings uh, uh, which we didn't feel were um, good enough and we used to coat them with uh, uh, this thing te texture white and uh, you can in this image you can see uh, uh, a faded image of the earlier drawing uh, uh, which uh, which can which can be seen and on top of that i had done this um, live live study um, i think sunil uh, sir must be remembering this is the um, uh, model called babu who used to you know like and you know, like uh, model, model for uh, the students in fine arts. Yes. Next. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that uh, uh, sitting, sitting figure. Can we, can we go to that sitting figure? Yeah, this is, this is my uh, classmate uh, Nilima. You know, like I had just uh, written a small line. Nilima looking at photographs. So uh, this is a drawing which I had done with uh, um, Ponty and uh, you know like white white pastel. So here also uh, I was not much interested in replicating the human figure in a very academic style, but I was trying to uh, figure out certain other things perhaps uh, which was of uh, my interest at that time. This is a still life which uh, I had done perhaps in my third year, and uh, this is a, this is done in watercolor. And uh, before coming to Baroda, I was uh, you know like very much interested in the wash technique, uh, which I was taught by my uh, teachers in West West Bengal. And uh, after coming to Baroda, uh, gradually uh, I had to unlearn many things and learn certain things which are new for me, like uh, how to do watercolors in an opaque way, how to, you know, like mix uh, white with other colors and um, create uh, some kind of opacity. And that is also a style in which watercolor uh, can be done. Uh, you know, like this wash technique is not the only style, but you can also do it in an opaque manner, which I, uh, I was learning in these formative years. Okay, um, and as uh, many many of us know that, um, like Shantiniketan, uh, it has got a um, um, graduation degree in printmaking. Whereas here in Baroda, we 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 don't have a, a graduation degree in printmaking. We only have master's degree. And uh, apart uh, uh, from uh, our regular classes in painting. We were also given optional subjects, uh, so I, I I had chosen uh, printmaking as my optional subject. Perhaps it was uh, uh, from the inclination uh, which uh, uh, you know, like uh, Rini Ma'am uh, 
the way Rinimam had uh, taught us uh, how to do woodcut, etc. So maybe from that inclination, I had taken printmaking uh, as a um, as an optional subject. Uh, and many of my classmates had taken uh, pottery and uh, mural, but uh, uh, some of us had taken uh, printmaking. So this, I think, this work was done in my third year, uh, and uh, it's a lithograph. It's a small lithograph. It's not very big. And I was learning the uh, means and ways of grinding the stone and how to polish it. And these were uh, the new experiences for me and how to draw uh, uh, draw with the glass, glass marker pencil. And uh, also when I look at these works, uh, when, I, when I look back at these works, I see that, you know, like uh, I was not much interested in uh, a single line. You know, like uh, there are multiple lines uh, through which I create a form or a human figure or certain other things. And perhaps this has reminiscences of um, our study to, to do and, uh, you know, like uh, the waves and, you know, like romancing with the waves, etc. So this is uh, and this is also another one uh, which I had done in my uh, perhaps in my third year. So this is this also has uh, reminiscences of that place, uh, our visit to, to do the new fort and the canon, etc. And here also, uh, when I look back at this work, I can see that uh, a lot of multiple, with the help of a lot of multiple lines, I have created a certain form uh, and, uh, you know, like uh, human figures, etc. It's also, also a lithograph. It's a small uh, lithograph. Okay, and uh, you know, like uh, when we were uh, juniors, uh, our seniors used to uh, donate us their used plates. Uh, that you know, like uh, you can you can work on it, uh, uh, you can do some etching, etching, you can try some etching, uh, and uh, perhaps this was the first etching which I had done uh, in my uh, when I was in my fourth year, and I used to take help of my seniors uh, who used to help me to. Uh, do the aqua uh, because I was not very conversant with uh, the uh, aqua machine in the graphics department and they used to help me to get the tones right etc. So this is this is a work which uh, I had done on a used plate and it was uh, really very tedious for me at that time to you know like scrape out so many things and uh, rework on it and create my own image. It's a very, very small, small etching. Yeah. Okay. And um, after uh, after I uh, finished my uh, graduation in painting, I joined the graphics department. And uh, this is a, a drawing which I had done of the graphics department. It's uh, uh, written, it's done in 90, 1995 and it's written an isolated corner in the graphics department. Somehow, uh, uh, can we uh, can we stay stay at that slide? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, um, even though, you know, like, uh, in my, uh, during, du during my graduation, I was very much interested in um, figurative uh, compositions and figurative drawings. But uh, by the end of uh, my um, final year, these things started getting minimized, uh, even though uh, many, many of the paintings which I had done in my final year graduation, they were figurative works. But uh, um, gradually, these things started uh, vanishing from my uh, works and I was, you know, like uh, experimenting with some kind of uh, abstract form shapes and mark making and, you know, like um, trying to create uh, something out of these things. Uh, and uh, uh, perhaps these are the, you know, like uh, the um, stacked things which you see on the extreme uh, left hand side. These are the uh, uh, silk screens which are stacked. 
and uh, um, I had I had titled uh, just written a, a line that uh, an isolated corner in the graphics department. So this is a drawing from that that period. And this is also uh, one etching which uh, was done on a used plate. Uh, and uh, I have uh, I have a um, kind of uh, inclination for you know like uh, uh, old um, music uh, this uh, of the yester years. And you know like uh, I had many friends you know like we used to um, hang out together listening to uh, these kind of music and all. So this is a titled gramophone listeners, and uh, perhaps you know, like uh, when I was doing this, uh, doing this etching, uh, this is um, aquatint uh, on um, on a zinc plate. Uh, perhaps when I was doing this etching, I was uh, reminded of a song from the 1950s offered to it by Shamshad Begum. And there are certain uh, things uh, um, about waves uh, in that song. So uh, yeah, I had uh, done uh, uh, those waves in this etching. Um, and gradually, you know, this uh, figuration started somehow vanishing from my works and uh, objects and, you know, the local um, kind of landscape started uh, coming in my works. Yeah, um, this is a lithograph when I think when I was in my first year in um, my master's, master's degree in uh, printmaking. This is a lithograph which I had done, um, which has these you know, like the elements of the uh, industry and the smoke uh, coming out from the chimney. Uh, perhaps, uh, you know, like uh, the local landscape and uh, things like that. Um, uh, they were, you know, like uh, coming into my books, uh, and this is one of them. And uh, as I have mentioned that before, that you know, like I uh, was donated many plates uh, by my seniors in the college. So uh, I was, uh, you know, like uh, mostly using the used plates they had, they had, uh, they had given me. So this is a you know like am, this is an amalgamation of all those used plates in which I uh, created um, these these images and then I had uh, you know like uh, made it into a composition and I think uh, my classmate uh, Manoj Velour helped me with the title uh, things we desire and things that we uh, don't after uh, seeing this work. And uh, uh, it was exhibited in Academy of Fine Arts uh, in Calcutta, and uh, it was uh, this this particular work was uh, also awarded. It got the Academy of Fine Arts award. So this is also etching and aquatint, the earlier work which I was yeah yeah this is etching and aquatint. I was trying to create these marks and all through steel wool and uh, uh, in in areas ne necessary. I was. You know, like using the aquatine, but mostly, you know, like uh, uh, during my masters, uh, the uh, figuration almost vanished from my works, and I was more interested in the in you know, like um, creating some objects and uh, uh, certain other. Uh, I mean, similar things to uh, express uh, things in my uh, works. Okay, uh, this is a um, this is this is a high point. Mostly um, in my master's degree, uh, I was uh, you know like uh, concentrating on um, two, uh, two, two, three mediums, I would say, and all my works are in uh, monochrome. Uh, I was not being able to explore too much of color because it was uh, sort of uh, you know like I was not very um what to say um i was not very skillful at using too many colors in my works so i thought a way out and i thought maybe uh, you know like i can uh, just work in monochrome 
and let me see uh, what what happens so this is this this is an etching uh, sorry this is a dry point which uh, i i did during during my masters and i remember um, you know like uh, now the outside of the uh, fine arts college has changed completely but uh, during those days when we were studying in the college uh, uh, the outside of the college was uh, full of you know like uh, these vendors and uh, other people you know like balloon sellers and uh, other other vendors who used to literally um, stay on the pavements over there and you know like uh, I, I was constantly uh, seeing those things so some of those elements like the balloon cart and uh, the pipes etc of the city uh, uh, you know, like uh, the moth uh, getting attracted to the land and all this, you know, like kind of um, things, still life, all these things started creeping into my works. Uh, um, maybe, you know, like uh, sometimes it was a very conscious choice. Sometimes they just came into my works in a very subconscious manner. But uh, uh, when, I, when I look back at these works, uh, there was definitely a cons uh, conscious choice because I was constantly, you know, like repeating these images in my works during my master's degree, and uh, uh, even in the later works, which uh, which which you will see uh, these kind of elements: the city, uh, the rain in the city, the reflection, the balloon cart, and you know, like the chimney, the pipes, and other kind of still lives the you know like uh, uh, cart uh, uh, on which the vendors sell certain things maybe vegetables and other things these uh, you know like uh, uh, you know like started uh, started repeating uh, in my works so definitely there was some kind of a consciousness in me that i am going to um, draw and you know like uh, do these things uh, uh, in my in my works so this is uh, from that time, yeah. Also, um, you know, like uh, I remember when I was in my first year, um, and just beside the li library, there were the, there were these uh, studios. BB Suresh sir used to work there, and uh, uh, me and two of my classmates, Avantika Baba and uh, Hema Hirani. We had uh, we had you know, like invaded uh, uh, one such uh, room, and uh, you know like we used to spend a lot of time uh, working over there, rather in the um, graphics department. And this I'm talking especially uh, in uh, when I was I was in my first year. So uh, we used to do many drawings over there, and we used to literally spend too much of time uh, over there. Uh, painting, sometimes painting, sometimes doing drawings. And when I used to uh, get back to the um, hostel after my uh, college college hours, uh, I also used to do some drawings um, in my um, room in the hostel, MA Hall, where where uh, I I used to stay. So uh, this is a drawing from uh, that that period. And you know, like uh, it's kind of an imaginative landscape, uh, which perhaps you know, like uh, has this kind of uh, um, images uh, of the city. Uh, but at the same time, it's not very you know, like uh, obvious uh, that uh, it's the Baroda city or you know, like it's a particular city or something like that. Uh, mostly, I would say it's uh, a kind of an imaginative landscape, which uh, I. Uh, which I have done, and uh, this is done with uh, uh, dry, dry pastel. It's uh, imperial size work. Well, um, this is this is another um, work which I had done during my masters. Um, it's a lithograph, uh, and uh, um, I was mostly concentrating on monochromatic works. So this is uh, a black and white uh, litho lithograph in which also you can see the uh, recurring image of the balloon cart and balloon cart and the you know like uh, what do you call this gas gas cylinder the chimney 
uh, uh, smoke coming out from the chimney. Uh, so um, these these were the things which I was doing um, during uh, my masters. And also, uh, you know, like I was uh, sort of experimenting a little bit. Like uh, um, I was, you know, like using ink on a rough cloth, and I was, you know, like creating certain texture on the uh, stone, uh, which uh, maybe, you know, like uh, it was, uh, it couldn't be painted. I mean, I had just taken a taken some uh, impressions, so that that's why uh, uh, you get a different kind of a feel in the texture of uh, the background in the background. Yes. Um, yeah, this is also a drawing um, during that that uh, um, phase in my master's degree, um, where uh, you know, like uh, these uh, still lives and you know, like uh, other objects were um, maybe uh, subconsciously creeping into my um, uh, drawings, uh, and uh, um, this is one of them. And uh, this is also done uh, in dry pastel and Ponte. Uh, um, this is um, another dry point which uh, I had done during my masters. It also has got these elements of the you know like uh, local, uh, you know like especially uh, the images uh, I was. Uh, seeing uh, immediately outside uh, the gate of uh, the fine arts college where this you know like pavement vendors used to um, be there and also this uh, balloon cart uh, sellers used to stay there and sell sell balloons uh, throughout the day i re i also remember uh, i had a senior uh, nijina nijina who used to, uh, you know, like uh, call uh, the small small children in the um, graphics department, and used to um, serve them tea, and she used to uh, do portraits of these little children. So you know, like uh, many of us were, you know, like uh, uh, kind of looking at these images, and you know, like uh, we were trying to uh, these these were sources of, sources of inspiration for. Uh, many of us and we were drawing uh, and uh, working with these images. Excuse yes. me, sir. Yes. Yeah, have uh, you got this dark line, uh, this thick line in the dry point? Like, how you got it? Like, what you. Which, which, which thick code? line? This, this. Uh, okay, 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 okay. See, this is this actually. I had just, you know, like scratch those areas. I had created those uh, marks with a sharp needle, and uh, uh, you know, like uh, when when I, you know, like wiped the ink from uh, the uh, the plate, uh, the ink, uh, you know, like since it's a, uh, these areas are rough, so you know, like uh, uh, it uh, it catches a lot of ink. That's that's how I got this bold, um, bold lines, bold dark lines. Yeah. Okay, it sir, is thank it you. is done. It is done on an acrylic sheet. Yes, yes. Uh, and how big it is? It is, uh, I think, uh, at the most A3 size. Oh. Or little, okay. little, little bigger than that. I was, I was, you know, like uh, maximum. I think uh, the uh, biggest work which I did in my masters was uh, a full, uh, full plate. No, not, not even a full plate. A half zinc, zinc plate. So that image will come later. No, oh, I'm shifting. Yeah, this is also, um, uh, um, uh, you know, like uh, in etching an aqua tint, which I had done during my master's. And it is also done on a used plate, uh, where you can see the similar images of the, you know, like uh, pipes and chimneys, factories, balloon carts, and things, things like that. And uh, uh, you know, like uh, my classmates and my seniors were constantly helping me out 
um even 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 i remember uh, when uh, we were in my uh, in our final final year 97 uh, uh, one student uh, tom patakuri uh, had joined from shantiniketan and he was very skillful in um this lithography he he uh, he, uh, he he had this tremendous skill of uh, etching the uh, 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 drawing uh, of the you know like uh, of the of the lithostone and getting the tones right and many of us used to take advices and take his help um, while uh, uh, we were doing our lithographs and uh, he used to help us um, get the right prints yeah so uh, this is also you know like like a compilation of uh, three three plates i think two two of the plates uh, which you see at the bottom uh, they were also used in another of my book and the top top one is a different plate it is also a used plate in which uh, i had you know like uh, uh, sort of kept the um, zinc plate for a very very long time uh, in the acid and you know like uh, you can see uh, this deep uh, deep you know like surfaces and uh, then i had to again uh, scrape them and you know like get try try uh, try to get the things right and uh, then somehow i just managed to finish this work so uh, you know like scraping the plate and all these things were always a tedious kind of a thing for me and at the same time uh, i uh, i enjoyed working on used plates a lot because it already had a certain surface and you know like uh, it gave a different kind of a feel uh, which was very difficult to get um, from a fresh plate we uh, we really i really had to rework rework and rework on a fresh plate to get these kind of effects which were uh, very easily achieved uh, from uh, this you know like used plates this was actually a kind of tradition at that time even we have yes, done yes, exactly yes 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 exactly and uh, one can get you know old image also some some students uh, also we have seen Use. they were using uh, another's image for their thing. own because so many tedious job it is like to scrap yeah. out and burnish yeah. it and uh, uh, bring it the you know metal should be white for the highlighted areas yeah yeah so yeah some yeah. people exactly. using uh, the uh, old image also which is useful in their image making like yeah yeah, yeah. this is a this is a very very tiny uh, dry point which i had done so uh, you know like uh, these kind of uh, images of still life and you know like objects used uh, used by these uh, you know like pave, pavement dwellers uh, and you know like the um, chimney the factory the house the motif of the house uh, these uh, started coming in my works during this this period and uh, this uh, this work was exhibited in ifex and uh, it also had won an award and it's a very very tiny um, right point which i had done this is uh, another another uh, dry point which uh, i i had done and uh, uh, this is um, comparatively uh, a bigger uh, this thing acrylic sheet on which i had done this uh, right point and you know like uh, in those days uh, fascination with the rain and the monsoon season these were also you know like uh, sort of coming in my works i remember when it used to rain cats and dogs uh, i used to climb on the uh, terrace and you know like get myself drenched and you know like it was a kind of regular activity during the monsoon for many of us so um, all these things also you know like uh, these kind of images the um, paper boat and the, you know the, uh, the ripples uh, on the uh, on the on the water the clouds and uh, things like that uh, uh, were also you know like coming in this in in my work during that time so this is an aging from that that uh, time in my masters 
this is also a very 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 small etching uh, and you know like the um, theme and the subject is very similar to the works that i was doing doing it during that time and it is written dry point you did the dry point on zinc plate is it no this is done on an acrylic sheet acrylic sheet okay yeah 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 okay sir. um this is this is uh, an etching uh, on a half imperial zinc plate and i think this is this is this is the first uh, fresh zinc plate which i had bought during my masters and uh, i had to you know like uh, work a lot uh, on this zinc plate to get the kind of effect which uh, um, i wanted to get and i remember uh, this uh, um i had really you know like uh, um, kept this plate for a long time uh, in acid and you know like it got beaten uh, so deeply uh, which i didn't like at all and uh, i had to really spray this uh, plate uh, quite quite a lot to get uh, the you know like uh, image uh, in the way i wanted to get it so it was a very very uh, very tedious job for me to do this etching <clears throat> it's uh, you know like the subject matter is uh, a kind of a very personal kind of a thing you know like a person trying to destroy a house or something like that uh, which i was thinking at that time uh, and you know like i think uh, this is this is uh, the only uh, etching um, which has got a human figure and uh, most of the most of the other uh, works which i had done during my um, masters were you know like devoid of human figures they were mostly still lives and objects that uh, uh, i had been you know, like looking at um, in my immediate surroundings this is a drawing from that uh, period uh which uh, i had done uh, it's it's imperial size size book with dry pastel and conti and uh, it also has got this similar images uh you know like uh, amalgamation of uh the you know like objects that i had been using in my works during that time along with the you know like uh, uh, rain and the reflection and things like that the balloon cart and still lives and things like that repetition of uh, images in the uh, same you know like picture plane yeah mm, this is also an imperial size drawing uh, mm, which is from the same same period 96 or 97 um and uh, this also has got a similar you know like um, kind of uh, imaginary landscape in which uh, uh, we can we can see this you know like uh, uh, smoke coming out from the chimney and uh, somewhere in the corner i had written uh, fluttering butterflies in an industrial landscape so you know like uh, sort of uh, concern um you know like uh, regarding this pollution and things like that this is the um this is this is my um master, master degree final uh, final work sorry exam work and uh, uh, here also you know like uh, i think you know like um i was uh, i really didn't know i mean what to do uh, what kind of things to do um for this exam work i was looking for some images and things like that and suddenly uh, me and one of my friend uh, one uh, one night we um thought of you know like just uh, sitting in a bus and going to a nearby place we just you know like uh, uh, thought of going uh, somewhere so we just we just went to limri there's a uh, there's a place called limri uh, nearby baroda and you know like uh, when we reached limri uh, it was almost uh, the day was almost breaking it was uh, it was 
um, dark and you know like uh, and uh, later you know like the day broke and um, you know like um, we just uh, stayed stayed there for some time you know like with the we saw the field and then you know, like cult cultivated field and the topography and uh, uh, this uh, you know like vegetation um, flora etc etc and uh, so when we when we came back uh, i thought of you know like uh, uh, making a, a work out uh, from 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 this from this experience and uh, um, i did uh, some kind of landscape in parts uh, in this work and uh, after i um, finished the um, this thing finished the work i was not really satisfied with the work so i asked bagori sir whether i can you know like cut the plate and you know like uh, you know like um, keep some gaps between the uh, between each uh, this thing um, each each panel so he just said okay you just try this and he gave me permission and uh, then after i cut the plate into six pieces uh, i was sort of satisfied uh, that this is a better version of the earlier one this is etching and aquatinting so uh, that that was my um, last last work mm, and after that um, i was you know like uh, kind of um, i think there is some color problem in this the yellow at the background is not um, really uh, bright enough is is it the uh, is it because of the screen or something like that the colors have yes. changed yes sir it is a uh, uh, that screen problem the result okay 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 Okay. So the green, uh, oh, what is visible yeah. is yellow. Yeah. Sorry. It, it it is yellow. Yeah, it is yellow. Yeah, it is bright yellow. The 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 background behind the figure, it's bright yellow. Okay. Chrome yellow, chrome chrome yellow color. Anyways, um. Yes. so uh, after i finished my um, masters uh, i was always interested in you know like using colors in my works uh, so um, i you know like uh, shifted to painting and you know like i have been painting for many many years now uh, i finished in 90 97 and it has almost been uh, 20 24 4 years uh, that i am you know like um, i have been painting and you know like and um, doing other kind of works uh, mostly i am uh, not into print print making uh, these these days but for this particular work uh, which was done in 2019 um my uh, this uh, abhishek narayan verma uh, had come to our college uh, this parul university to teach cyanotype to my um, students um there there was this altaf uh, this altaf's batch altaf divyat and all this all these people people were there so uh, i was very fascinated uh, by the cyanotype uh, because uh, I, earlier i didn't know uh, uh, this medium uh, where you can you know like uh, you uh, you you uh, just uh, cover the uh, surface with a chemical uh, in a dark room and then you just uh, keep keep some objects in um, you just expose it to sunlight and keep some objects and then uh, it will get uh, printed and when you wash it it will become blue in color so these this thing was very fascinating for me so i thought let me just try try this so i also did uh, a few uh, cyanotypes um, along with my my students and later also abhishek uh, taught us uh um, that we can also do you know like tea tea staining uh, and to get uh, get the brown brown color get a different color brown color so we just tried tried that also and uh, these were just lying with me for a very long time i didn't i really didn't know what to do with them uh, because um uh, you know like uh, i didn't know how to how to relate 
uh, uh, these these things uh, with the kind of uh, works which uh, I have been doing um, in the recent times. And uh, uh, then I was doing um, this uh, uh, portrait uh, of my mother and uh, my daughter who is uh, who, uh, who are there in the cent central panel. And uh, since most of the uh, images in the cyanotype uh, are, you know, like discarded toys and other things of my daughter, so I thought that maybe I can relate uh, these things uh, with this image. Um, so I just use them as panels in this work. So uh, and uh, I am I am also I am very much fascinated by 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 cyanotype, but since it needs some kind of dark room and uh, uh, things like that. So uh, I'm just waiting uh, for some time and maybe in near future, I would definitely like to, you know, like uh, do some more cyanotypes and, uh, you know, like uh, use them in my books. So that's it. I think uh, after this, you send me an, another image, uh, another mail, Ajay. Hello. Hello. This was the file you were talking about. Uh, this is not the file actually. Uh, 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 there, there are uh, the uh, the final final presentation which I had sent you had details of the cyanotypes. That that has uh, the detailed works and all. Yeah, you know, like you had you had, you had asked me to uh, send the details of the cyanotypes. So uh, the last uh, present uh, PPT which I had sent you had the uh, details of the cyanotype. Anyways, uh, if if uh, uh, it is not there, uh, I don't think there is any problem. In case you don't have any problem. No, 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 not at all. Uh, now, uh, so students uh, who wanted to uh, say something or they wanted to, to ask any questions regarding uh, Jay's works or medium he has expressed or uh, you know, time gap, if you can see the works which you are producing, students, at present, you are your approaches towards your uh, thinking and uh, choosing your medium. And as, as uh, Ajay had said that, and shown her, his works, how, how you can uh, uh, see, like, just, just you can uh, discuss if you wanted to ask any queries regarding that it is free for all to ask anything because see after, within this 20 years you can see like cyanotype uh, or gum print that is uh, fascinating for all of us which we have never uh, practiced within uh, this 25 years and uh, like many other mediums like uh, print making with digital technology Right. So yeah, please, Alta, kuch puch raha tha. Haan, hello, sir. Yes, Alta. Uh, haan, aap bata rahe the ki aapne wo color print nahi liya. Aapke paintings maine dekhe itne colorfuls hain, to aapne printing mein aapne colors try kyun nahi kiye? Matlab. Mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha hai. Tum tum kya kya bol raha ho? Thoda sa zor se bolo. मैं पूछ रहा हूं सर कि आप आपने जो वो पेंटिंग्स दिखाए थे अपने उसमें इतने सारे कलर्स हैं आपके कंपोजिशन के हिसाब से आपने प्रिंट मेकिंग में इतने कलर प्रिंट्स क्यों नहीं लिए आपने मतलब आप बता रहे थे हां वही 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 मैं वही मैं बोल रहा हूं मुझे है ना कुछ टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम्स होते थे ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने मैंने ट्राई नहीं किया आई हैड आल्सो ट्राइड विस्कोसिटी ड्यूरिंग माय कॉलेज डेज uh, but somehow, you know, like I was not very satisfied with the result which I was getting. Uh, okay. It could be a very personal thing. Maybe, you know, like when others would see those viscosities, they would say, no, uh, it's absolutely fine. It's, it's nice or it's good. But I had uh, some personal uh, uh, problems 
or rather uh, i had some set set notions which uh, because of which i didn't uh, think that i should explore too much of color in uh, my uh, you know like uh, print uh, prints that uh, i was doing doing during that time i had also tried you know like uh, three color uh, four color lithography also during my uh, student days i think uh, one uh, one 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 lithograph which i had done during my um, final year when i was in my painting in 94 or 95 uh, it had three to three to four colors but somehow they were not working for me that's why i thought that you know like maybe uh, i can try something in monochrome uh, which might uh, work for me that is the only reason and uh, another thing is that you know like uh, for me print making is an indirect process when i am painting it's it's a direct process where i have the facility of if i don't like a certain like a certain color i can just you know like erase it and and uh, since and i can i can erase it i can cover it very easily but when it comes to print making i have to really pre plan so many things before i you know like uh, indulge into um, uh, you know like uh, certain certain things i can just i cannot just you know like try too many things uh, you know like very uh, casually there has to be a lot of pre planning and my my process of working is working starts from scratch whenever i am doing a painting also uh, there is there is definitely a kind of thought uh that is you know like uh, at the back of my mind but when i am starting a painting i am starting it uh, from scratch in the sense it's a very organic process for me where there is a facility of covering erasing things very easily but when it comes to print making a lot of pre planning has to be done maybe because of that reason i didn't explore too much of color uh, during those those times during that period ओके थैंक यू सर और एक सवाल था सर आप अभी प्रिंट मेकिंग पे अभी कुछ काम कर रहे हैं कि आप मतलब अभी ड्राइंग्स पे ही फोकस कर रहे हैं अभी नहीं मैं अभी मैं प्रिंट मेकिंग नहीं कर रहा हूं लेकिन मेरे मेरे दिमाग में ये है कि नियर फ्यूचर में मैं साइनोटाइप एटलीस्ट मैं साइनोटाइप तो करना ही चाहता हूं इन नियर फ्यूचर और मैं एचिंग्स भी करना चाहता हूं बट at present i am not doing these things maybe if i get some opportunity if i okay sir ajay hello can you hear unmute yourself unmute yourself yeah 
मुझे एक्चुअली अभी पावर चला गया है इसलिए मेरा वाईफाई में चल रहा था तो फिर मैंने वो दोबारा दोबारा लॉग इन किया मैंने नो वन जस्ट सिंपल क्वेरी लाइक आफ्टर 97 डिड यू गेट डिड यू गेट एनी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क और हैव यू वर्क एनीवेयर विद प्रिंट मेकिंग मीडियम मैंने uh, मुझे मुझे uh, जयपुर में एक वर्कशॉप uh, हुआ था वो uh, मुकेश शर्मा है ना मुकेश शर्मा यू नो यू नो यू नो मुकेश शर्मा सो ही हैड ही हैड ऑर्गेनाइज्ड वन वर्कशॉप इन जयपुर अ प्रिंट मेकिंग वर्कशॉप इन जवाहर कला केंद्र इन विच आई हैड डन वन एचिंग um and uh, uh, later also i think um i can't i can't remember it must be in uh, 2011 or something um 2011 or 12 uh, in uh, this rukshan studio uh, uh, they were also uh, making a portfolio <coughs> of uh, etchings so i think that was the last etching which i had done Uh, in that unfortunately i couldn't include that etching in this presentation uh, uh, because i was not being able to find the portfolio uh, because so many things are stacked in the house <laughs> uh, that's why i couldn't include it even though i wished that uh, uh, it could be included so that was one etching which i had done yeah and i think uh, it was a time where uh, after after passing if you wanted to work in print making you need to think a lot i think you need yes, to yes, yes. kaloria yes. you need to go to bhopal or uh, you know there were no studios and all there's like yeah, yeah. what we have today is uh, we might have 10 or more than 10 studios for print yeah. making to, yeah, to yeah. work yeah so that that was lacking actually in that time i know in 99 when the uh, chap has started yeah uh, the studio print making studio yes chap also uh, you know like uh, uh, there was one uh, heritage uh, there was one uh, heritage walk and heritage. Uh, after yeah. after 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 that we were given small plates to work uh, work and uh, that etching is also uh, you know like uh, 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 it is unfinished uh, i had worked on that etching but it it does plate is lost or something it's misplaced it's unfinished i couldn't finish that etching because uh, uh, the duration of uh, the, uh, that time period was very uh, little for me in 2 3 days it was difficult for me to you know like prepare the plate yeah so any uh, anybody else wanted to uh, say something or ask something i just uh, i just want to add certain things you know like uh yes. when when we were you know like studying uh, in the college you know like these you know like um shinkole or you know like multiplet etching and uh, then you know like uh, this uh, working with digital uh, in uh, incorporating digital media uh, in our works like uh, uh, i uh, i i would say during the phase uh, uh, in which you know like uh, devraj and others were working um, these these things were coming uh, coming in the uh, uh, works but during uh, that time this kind of experimentation was not not there in our uh, time when when we were doing very few uh, um, you know like students were trying to shinkole or multiplet etching i remember i think manikant uh, my classmate was trying some multiplet etching and then uh, hema hirani uh, my classmate she also uh, got inspired and she had also tried some multiplet etching but these things were very rare during our time and we were you know like mostly concentrating on the traditional methods and means uh, of print making like aqua tint and line etching viscosity um and the litho lithography etc etc and only and i think only in the later later years uh, this you know like uh, digital intervention and creating uh, huge prints uh, creating huge wood cuts 
these trends uh, started coming, which was uh, not there during uh, the time when we were students in the college. Yes. Uh, the year you have completed, uh, 1997. Yeah. I joined on the same year. And yeah. uh, in 1998, there was a workshop conducted by Kappa from Spain. By? And, by? By? Uh, by Kappa, Kappa from See, Spain. 90, what time? 98, 1998. That was in 98. Yeah, Kappa, yeah. yes, 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 I remember that Kappa. Was yes. a that was a multiplayer teaching workshop. So okay. all of us were uh, you know, included into that. So everyone started even doing multiplayer uh, after that, actually. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Is it that Munir was there? No, Munir in that workshop Munir was not there. It, was it means, uh, uh, it means uh, Sonia Dilla. Yeah. Both from Spain. In okay. Yeah. So we pulled this, uh, uh, then they have exhibited also their works. Yeah, yeah. In the there gallery. Was an and huge, huge works they done in multiplex. Yes. Yeah. Very bright yes. colors and all. Yes. And actually, this multiplayer thing became very popular among us because we all started, you know, doing it during the workshop, and later yeah. on we continued it. Actually. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, and 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 also, you know, like incorporating, you know, like uh, digital images in uh, etchings uh, or lithographs. Uh, these trend came uh, later, I think, during during uh, the period when all of we were uh, studying. They brought. Yeah, yeah, they? Sorry, we were not incorporating uh, digital images in etchings. It was in screen printing actually. Because yeah, screen printing, yes, 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 sorry, yes. We yes. tried to do in the processing department, but everybody was so scared about this one, they said. Yeah. Yeah. Now, very angry. So, we love the camera. So we tried once or twice, but we all ran away because we were scared. Okay. But in the in the calligraphy, uh, we we actually started using this digital device uh, and photography yeah. images. Yes, it was yeah, in yeah. the uh, 1999. Yeah. Because uh, in the fine arts there, actually, we have done a lot of digital, uh, you know, like. They used to make a lot of digital uh, transparencies, textures, and print. Yeah. So then we actually learned, okay, this can be done, and then we started in, in, using that knowledge also into our own prints after the final sphere. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, like uh, when 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 we were in my uh, when we were in our first year, second year, uh, Bagori sir had uh, you know like joined uh, freshly joined the college as a teacher. And he used to always encourage us. Uh, he used to al always encourage us, and he used to say only one thing: uh, freedom, like a drawing, karo. Freedom, like a drawing, karo. And I was, you know, like, like I had this notions of the uh, Bengal school uh, academic style of drawing, etc. So I was trying to distort the figures, and you know, like they were becoming very ridiculous in certain ways. But uh, uh, Baguri sir and even Dhumal sir and others they used to encourage us a lot and they used to tell Acha ho rahe, bahut acha ho rahe, chalo karo, karke dekho, ha tumhara ye, ye, ye litho ka drawing bahut acha hua hai. So they used to always encourage and inspire us to uh, work in a manner which was very new to me at that time. You know, like uh, before multiplates also, if we if we uh, if we see viscosity, yeah. When I was studying in 92, 93, 94, yeah, there was a catalog came from uh, uh, US uh, about viscosity by uh, uh, Krishna Reddy. So in ninety four, another workshop was uh, conducted in the department, and uh, Palani Appan was there. Yeah, yeah. Palmer was also very much uh, a popular figure among uh, during that time. Yes. And uh, we were all very fa much fascinated to see his work. So he has he has done a work here. Also, uh, Lakshma God that time he was doing a color print, color yeah. interior print. So that was you know time to uh, to. 
to uh, ex experiment with colors and all. So we were all very much uh, inspired by them also. So I actually, one of my inspiration to take admission in printmaking that was viscosity. But okay. unfortunately, okay. unfortunately, due to the lack of good rollers and all at that time, yeah. I could not be able to do much uh, viscosities later on. Yeah. Yeah, but then I went to uh, Bhopal also and we did some viscosity two three plates okay. like. Mm -hmm. So these are all you know workshop that that has uh, you know played a very big role in in this department. Like uh, earlier it was a, a paper making workshop was there. Yes, yes. John so, John Babcock had John come. Babcock I John the, John, I John Babcock. Yeah. So at that time uh, many students they were also using paper as a as a uh, multi plating. Uh, images and all yeah. like Bishwa yeah. and all they were doing no then paper making studio was a part of graphic department yeah it was a, we it used was a part of papers also mm -hmm. no, but mm -hmm. I remember even Billy Ma'am once uh, taken viscosity class yeah. with us also yeah she and, was doing uh, uh, viscosity yeah. but the interesting experience was when we uh, opened the box to take out the soft roller we find uh, the, only the gun is there and the rubber has melted and a, <laughs> so that synthetic uh, synthetic rubber roller was there yeah. and uh, because of the heat it gets yeah. melted. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That was a wonderful roller yes. earlier. So uh, with Rini Madam also we are all uh, very much fascinated because she was doing uh, so much of viscosity and all. Yes. So uh, this is all good remembrance uh, from uh, Madam also. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So many times I uh, insist students that these two years are very less time. Actually, you don't uh, you don't even approach many mediums like that. They should uh, at at least they should approach and yeah. work in this. So multiplate viscosity, you are not going to uh, do it later on. You know yeah. that freedom you have here as as for studio facility of uh, you know using rollers and uh, many if you wanted to big big prints do big prints you will not be able to do it later on either if yeah. you if, if you find a place suitable place but it is it is not possible every for everybody actually so at yeah, least yeah, they, yeah. They, because uh, yeah. because most of these studios which uh, have come up in uh, Baroda, I, I mean, uh, they are not free of charges. So yeah. uh, you know, like uh, if you if you want to work there, then you have to um, pay the charges for that. So that also may not be possible for every uh, student uh, who just finished their studies and you know, like think of uh, continuing printmaking. Yeah. Yeah, anybody else wanted to ask anything? So, uh, Ajay, it was a good experience to be with uh, us today with our students and uh, all of us. And uh, we had uh, senior works and uh, it is all good remembrance of old days of yes. 90s and all. And uh, thank you very much for uh, 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 presenting the works from all of us, from the students and faculty of fine arts and department of graphic arts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil. Thank you, Devraj. Thank you, all of you, uh, for, you know, like uh, looking at my works. And, you know, like it's almost like a memory lane for me uh, because I uh, could I was able to show the works which I was doing in my second year third year and all you know like uh, like it has almost been 25 years 26 years when I was student and it was a wonderful experience and thank to all of you yeah thank you very much okay bye Bye. Bye.
थैंक यू सर